Everybody has some form of media-induced childhood trauma. For some, maybe it's the haunted mansion at Disney. For others, maybe it's Courage the Cowardly Dog. But what's way more important than you is my childhood trauma. I was a young boy sitting on the couch watching your regularly scheduled Cartoon Network programming. And often they would air new cartoon pilots on the weekdays. For example, I remember the first Adventure Time episode, but there was this one show to this day that I can't forget. Let me paint you a picture. I remember a cartoon featuring some sort of young boy who decides to make a lemonade stand. I don't remember why or how, but this has to be important to the plot. And there's this snarky kid who also has a lemonade stand, but his lemonade is more sour, which by cartoon logic makes it more tasty. Then our main character decides to top the snarky kid's lemonade by making his more sour. So the snarky kid decides to come over and try his lemonade, and that's when it happens. He takes a sip of the lemonade and suddenly his face deforms. He puckers so strongly that you can't even recognize his face and he can't even speak any words. This is the horrifying image that I remember vividly to this day. Maybe to most, it's not that bad. But I was a young sheltered child, I never watched any horror movies, and this one specific cartoon gave me nightmares. What if that happened to me? Well, I've tried searching for this cartoon on multiple occasions and I just can't find it. But today, that all ends. I have decided that I will do whatever it takes to find this missing cartoon episode. So let's just recap what we're looking for. Most likely looking for the pilot or episode one to a cartoon featuring a lemonade stand. I also remember a very bright and vivid art style and a kid who ingests sour lemonade that's so sour it makes his face pucker into being unrecognizable. And finally, I know for a fact that this aired on Cartoon Network because that's basically all I watched. Now, I've already tried this on multiple occasions, but just to run you through my process a little bit, just simply Googling it is something that I'm gonna rule out right away. If you take a look here at Google Images, basically everything is instantly recognizable. You have 16, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the Powerpuff Girls. Let's try maybe even inputting the word sour and see if that changes the results. I don't even know what this is. I don't think this is anything new. This specific Phineas and Ferb episode does look familiar to the image that's in my mind, but I specifically remember this being on Cartoon Network in a new episode, and I was a diehard fan for Perry the Platypus, so I would remember this, and it's very obviously not going to be Adventure Time or Chowder, although those are great series. So yeah, I've already gone down this option, and it doesn't seem like this is going to yield results, so we're just going to have to brainstorm something new. There are also quite a few of false leads when trying to search for a show like this. For example, I did find an episode to this show called Craig of the Creek, and just by reading the bio, I thought that maybe I had found it. It says, Craig decides to take on the sucker pucker challenge by sucking on a sour lemon candy without chewing. But then I clicked on the link and I was really disappointed to see a really fresh art style. It turns out the show aired in 2018 and I was like 17 years old, so this is definitely not what I was thinking about. I did end up finding this Wikipedia page of various Cartoon Network pilots, so maybe there's something in here. The Kitty Bobo Show. Cell phones was a short. Nope, that's definitely not it. Something I also think I should clarify is I remember them being human characters, so I don't think we're looking for these crazy animal types. Get em, Tommy was a web exclusive series. No, that's not it. Gramps. Looks too old. Boomerang, 1996. Nope. Infinity Train, definitely not. Larry and Steve. 1997. Nope. I'm not that old. If it's anything past 2010, I think I'm just going to rule that out instantly because I wouldn't remember. All right. Well, it seems to me that this link was just a dead end. I had thought to myself that maybe searching for pilots off of YouTube would have been a good option to find this show, but not including today. I had already gone through various playlists searching for this pilot, but I'm kind of sensing a theme with a lot of these rejected cartoons. Basically, all of them are just so bizarre. For example, this show, Welcome to Wacomo. And I'm just trying to figure out what kids would even want to watch something like this. It's just so lifeless and creepy. And honestly, it feels like a fever dream. Like if I had a dream about a cartoon that didn't exist, I feel like this is what my brain would come up with. Or for example, this one, Porch Chow from 2008. This one just makes completely no sense whatsoever. It's what I would expect a modern TikTok iPad kid to watch back then. But I think my absolute favorite from this bunch has to be Fungus Among Us, which not only is an insane title in 2024, like this has to be a prophecy, but it's also just completely disgusting. I hate looking at every second of this. And as much as I would like to just go through every Cartoon Network pilot because I can't search for the words sour or lemonade, it kind of makes it a long process. Who knows how many failed pilots there are. And one of the hardest parts about YouTube searching too is I can't search by date. This also means that I can't automatically filter out anything that doesn't fit my timeline. But on top of this, I don't even necessarily know that this show didn't make it past pilot. For all I know, this could have been a beloved series that there's a small Reddit community about. I'm not going to lose hope though, and I'm going to do some more digging on my own. Guys, I found it. No, I'm just kidding. But I did find the pilot's a family guy. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Steve, you gotta try this. 
Uh, that, that, that's okay. Oh, come on! It's actually pretty crazy to go back and see a lot of these differences between pilots and the final shows. For example, both Brian and Peter Griffin have different designs, but the same voices. I guess there's a certain polish to what comes out on television that you don't really notice when you're a kid. Because let's be honest, I too indulged in some family guy when I could at 11 years old. But as for the actual investigation, I've come up with nothing. If only there was a place on the internet that could help me find what I'm looking for. A place where you can ask various people on the internet if they've seen something. But what would a place like that even be called? For all I know, this could have been a beloved series that there's a small Reddit community about. So at this point, I've decided that I'm going to enlist the help of the people at the Help Me Find subreddit. Even if there's just a slight chance that somebody else has seen this pilot and knows what it is, I think I should take it. At the very least, this doesn't seem like a very popular point of discussion online. And from what I can see, nobody else has searched for this specific pilot. So I put up my post and I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So it's been two days since I made my Reddit post. I was busy yesterday and wanted to give it some time and see what happens. I guess I should read you what I wrote down in the post. So I said, hello Reddit. I've been on a hunt for a cartoon pilot for my childhood. I have this vivid memory of this pilot airing on Cartoon Network that features a lemonade stand from the main character. At some point there's a snarky kid, some sort of bully, that opens a lemonade stand more sour which results in more people wanting his lemonade instead. In retaliation, the main character makes his lemonade extremely sour, maybe even the most sour in the world. I had to spice things up a little bit, you know? This leads to the snarky kid taking a sip of either his own or the main character's lemonade. I can't remember honestly now that I think about it. The lemonade is so extremely sour he puckers his face to the point his face looks deformed and he cannot even speak words. This aired on Cartoon Network for sure and at some point around the 2010s. I remember being horrified of this episode and fear that the same would happen. I've tried searching old pilots on YouTube, Google slash Google Images, IMDB pages, and various Wikipedias. If you have any idea please let me know. The strange thing about starting this investigation is it feels like the more time that passes I start to re-remember details to the point where I can't really tell what's reality and what's something that I think I remember. And so after waiting two days, I can announce that nobody has responded to my post. We couldn't even get a single upvote. This of course means that it's not gonna be as easy as I hoped it would be. I'm obviously gonna have to do some more haunting on my own. Unless... I knew this would happen. You see, this isn't my first time on Reddit. I am well aware at this point that making a post on such a popular subreddit has a high chance of never being seen. But with a little more looking around, I found the subreddit tip of my tongue, which seemed to fit the theme of what I'm looking for exactly. Something that I remember a lot of details for, but I just can't think of the name. And so after my initial post flopped within an hour, I decided to make a second post. And if you scroll down on my post, there's one specific comment that caught my eye. A user by the name of Director Denial said, not a pilot, but Captain Flamingo. And so I decided to click on the link and what was in it shocked me. The story involves a kid named Milo Powell who transforms into Captain Flamingo anytime somebody says, <clears throat> uh oh, Flamingo. This is explained in the intro and basically all of the lore you need to know. The episode begins with Milo digging through groceries his family brought home and he's looking for a specific sour candy that his parents bought. And they demonstrate just how sour this candy is when his mom tells him to share with the other family members. You can tell just how sour it is just by the way that everybody puckers their face. Suddenly the words, uh oh, Flamingo. <laughs> are uttered and Captain Flamingo is summoned completely out of the abyss to help a little girl with her lemonade stand. She says that she opened her own business until some kid named Wendell decided to open his own lemonade stand and steal her customers. And let's just say that Wendell is the worst. And he also so happens to be Captain Flamingo's cousin. To solve this, they come up with the plan of moving the lemonade stand using roller skates to move it to a better corner. Well, Wendell realizes this and he decides that he's gonna beat them to the bottom of the hill. So they end up reaching the bottom of the hill but ended up losing all the lemons. And the way they retreat them is very interesting. They use a vacuum cleaner to do it. It's cartoon logic. Just go with it. The vacuum cleaner spins completely out of control and ends up wrecking the lemonade stand. Wendell, of course, uses this as an opportunity to mock them. And so they come up with a new strategy of going to a retirement home and writing a rap song to get customers. I'm not joking, but I wish I was. This ends up working and the elderly decide to go to the lemonade stand until Wendell intercepts with free massages. At this point, Wendell is just a complete menace. And Captain Falcon, completely discouraged, decides to take a little break and eat some of his sour candies. This is when his best friend Lisbeth says to him that he should share his candy. Remembering what happened with his family, he decides to share with Wendell. So he starts by adding candy to his own lemonade and says how much tastier it'll be. Wendell, who gets easily jealous, says that it's no fair and demands that he receives candy as well. Captain Flamingo hands him over and Wendell adds the whole bag to the lemonade. And that's when it happens. Too sour? I don't think so. 
That's why my business is so successful. Because when I do things, I go all the way. Mm. See? That's the best lemonade I ever tasted! <gasps> Maybe it's just me, but it is just as horrifying as I remember it. But this is 100% the moment that I remembered. It's so satisfying to be right. And there are so many details about this that I managed to remember. For example, the competition between the two, the lemonade stands, and even Wendell's reaction. Because I would like to say that I described his reaction pretty spot on. I love that the elderly call him a monster because it's not anything short of that. Like just imagine me watching this at eight or nine years old on television and being completely horrified. But let's talk about the details I got wrong. First off, this actually isn't a pilot or technically episode one. Originally, the series actually aired on a Canadian TV network called YTV, and I was somebody that was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. And so what I believe happened here is that Cartoon Network at some point decided to pick up the show and use The Last Stand as part A coupled with part B and then premiered that on Cartoon Network. And I've never seen this show past this moment, so I assume the ratings weren't that well and they decided not to continue it. Even the YouTube video only has about 15,000 views, which I think is pretty low for a cartoon series. But the biggest detail that I failed to remember was the sour can but I don't think I did too bad considering how long it's been, but also I completely forgot the Captain Flamingo angle. In fact, I don't even know what this adds to the episode itself. You could just say that he's a kid that likes to help others, and I feel like the story doesn't change at all. But during this whole journey I went on to find my old childhood trauma, I feel like I've grown so much that life moves forward as we get older. The traumas of the past slowly start to fade away, and as you lose details, it becomes something you can't remember. And then you find it, and it's exactly the nightmare that you remembered. But anyways, I think we're gonna leave it there. This video is a lot different than the usual content I make, but I had so much fun making this and would like to try out some more content like it. So if you enjoyed, maybe hit that subscribe button. And yeah, peace out.